And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. Lots going on this week, including a little dust-up by Elon Musk, who I still hope decides to come to Pennsylvania, where he KO'd Elizabeth Warren. If you didn't get a chance to see that clip, check it out. I know you'll like it. But on a more serious note, this week, the Pennsylvania Legislative Reapportionment Commission released its first set of proposed maps for the redrawing of the legislative lines in Pennsylvania in accordance with the decennial census. Those maps provoked a lot of controversy, and they should have. It looks like a really partisan ploy right now, although there will be a 30-day period for public comment, and I hope any of you that want to make comment do so. But it's got a map that posts or pits a lot of Republicans against other Republicans, for example, and looks like it's designed to make the legislature more likely to go Democrat in future elections. There's lots more to come about reapportionment, which is always a political battle royale every 10 years. But this week, the House passed a package of proposed constitutional amendments about some things as important as voter identification. You know, I've been saying all along, it's planes, trains, and automobiles. You can't get on an airplane. You can't get on a train. You can't rent a car without photo identification. And yet there are those in our Commonwealth who think it would be just fine if you should be able to show up and vote without showing some form of proper identification. <laughs> That's just one of the proposed constitutional amendments. There are others that would empower the Auditor General to conduct post-election audits, something I think we ought to all be able to agree on, because if we can't trust the elections, there truly are no winners. And all of this raises the question, why the necessity of constitutional amendments? Well, right now it's pretty obvious. It's because King Tom, Tom Wolfe, also thinks that he is the veto king. He's already vetoed over 50 pieces of proposed legislation passed by the General Assembly. You know, what that means is that he's vetoing the manifest wishes of the people as expressed through their elected representatives. Now, every once in a while, vetoes are appropriate. We all, I think, would agree on that. But when you're vetoing over 50 pieces of legislation, the people of Pennsylvania have the right to say, what's really going on? And there's that other constitutional amendment, which I've been promoting from the get-go. And that is one that I think is increasingly significant because one of the constitutional amendments this week had to do with the governor's ability to declare emergencies, limiting that once again to 21 days in this instance. But I believe the people of Pennsylvania ought to have a constitutional right. We the people, all of us, ought to be able to recall and remove from office any governor that thinks he or she is a king. And our friend State Representative Marty Kowser had a significant win this week with the passage of his bill to provide expanded access to broadband internet. That's especially important for rural Pennsylvanians who currently don't have that lifeblood that's so necessary to do business and to just operate a household. You know, somebody asked me, Charlie, do you really think that we're gonna be able to run fiber optic down every lane of every farm across the northern tier of Pennsylvania? I admitted that we probably are not, but I said, we're sure going to try. Congratulations to Representative Kowser and his move to expand broadband internet access for all Pennsylvanians. And next Saturday, of course, is Christmas Day. We're going to hope to be able to tape something early in the week so that you won't be without this on Christmas Day. But in the event that we're not, I want to wish all of our friends of the Christian faith a most blessed, happy, and glorious Christmas. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And that is undoubtedly the best 60-ish seconds of our week.